it appears we've lost Paul. I'm sure he's behind us up the last roundabout, so Steve just snipped off back to see where he is. Where's he got to? Well, good morning, folks. You've joined us on an early morning dash. We're going for a chip run. Now, <laughs> it's not just on the doorstep. We decided we'll go to Whitby for chips. So, come along and join us. Oh, we've got a tracking. Got a map on, so we know where we're going. Oh, uh, yeah, let's crack on, shall we? Got Paul and see with me. Paul's on his new Ducati Autostrada. <laughs> oh, beautiful day. Set the counter so we know how many miles we're doing. That's it. Now we're not taking the motorway there, we're going over the top basically. Well, it is early, I suppose. Sun's right to me bloody eyes. <laughs> you know me. Get cracking. Yeah, we're just dropping down into Ashbourne now. This is where you start getting into the hills and all the views. Beautiful. I hope the camera's not steamed up. It was a bit uh, dewy this morning, I noticed. Everything was wrapped through. Yeah, we'll be taking the, the road from Ashbourne towards Buxton, uh, then onto Bakewell, and over that way trying our best to uh, miss out majority of Sheffield. Trying to keep off the main road if we can. Steaming up! Steaming up! Come on lights, bloody hell.
8515 we're after. See you later, Ashbourne. Let me jump. Beautiful morning. Early morning mist across the hills.
we're uh, going through Bay Clow. Another well-known place in the Dales. Home of the Bakewell Tart. But the Bakewell Tarts you get from the supermarkets are nothing like the true Bakewell Tart. So if you ever get a chance to go to Bakewell, try one of the Bakewell Tarts, you'll see what I mean. Apparently, apparently Steve's telling me, yeah, because he's an electrician and he works down London quite a bit. He had his uh, power tools nicked out the van the other day. You got to ring the police. Right. Are you in line? Yeah. All right. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Oh, I've got another one in there. Yeah. Big enough. Right, we'll get off. Yeah, um, we just had to pull over because he's had to find the police. Um, luckily, on his, uh, his equipment he's had stolen, which is quite a lot of money he's had nicked, they've got trackers on him and he's got an app on his phone and it's been well, basically coming up saying it's, it's been activated. So whether they put batteries in the drills or something like that, I think it's kicked in, I don't know, but it's, it actually tells them, tells you where the blooming drills and whatever other power tools they are at the moment. Unfortunately, he's been working down London, so Obviously, he can't do nothing about it except phone the police, so he just had to contact the police and get in contact with the Metropolitan Police as well, trying to sort it out. So, but with the cross fingers, it should be retrieved, hopefully. Yeah, uh, we're just going through the outskirts of Sheffield straight through basically and uh, once we get through there we're back on our way towards Whitby just getting through the traffic at the moment luckily we haven't gone through the actual centre of Sheffield just on the outskirts so we should, we should miss both part of it I think Now well, we are finally through Sheffield Took us about half an hour to get round Sheffield. But, uh, we're through now, so it's onwards to Whitby. Sun's still shining. We've got some cracking roads again now, as you can see.
Road works. Great. It appears we've lost Paul. I'm sure he's behind us up the last roundabout, so Steve just snipped off back to see where he is. Where's he got to? I up the phone. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Hello? Yeah? Has he got a puncture? No. Alright. Okay mate, yeah. Okay. Alright. Well folks, there you go. That's what's happened. Paul has got a puncture. So, uh, yeah, we'll just turn around. He's got a puncture. Where are they now? Somewhere by this roundabout, he said. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, I got you. Joseph Parking, folks. You got a puncture, have you? What a bad one. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Was it a nail? Yeah, no, it was gone on the last one. Get an apple. Well, this is where we'll find out now. Might be a bit slow like but we'll pump it up. I said stand aside there, how many bars does it do? It's been drinking your bars then. Oh yeah, it's fine to do it again. It's like one, it's just six I think. Yeah. Man, you don't want to put full slug in and too powerful in these, do you? No. Okay. Okay, I don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. It's just dorky, won't it? Stopping this back then. Eh? Stopping that thing on the... Yeah, you know where it's at. Yeah, you know where it's at. Yeah. I'm very tacky with that, eh? Yeah. That's the problem, getting them off again without letting it all out again. Have you got a tyre pressure, Bert Gage? I carry this shift about, isn't it, really? Yeah, you think sometimes, well, do what I need it, but you do, actually, yeah. Well, I'll be honest, I, I don't... Is it pumped it up too, Paul? No, I've got to go put more. So it's yeah. only gone to 20. Here's 30, I want 36. What was it, 30, what was it 36? 36, I mean. Yeah. What, just go below 40, don't yeah, what it says on So four. this isn't very accurate, is it? No, it's not. The other one's better. Oh, Sorted. Yeah. Crack on, eh? Yeah. Change your gloves. The weather's getting bloody hot now, so. Put your on. Oh yeah. 
turn around and go back that way. I think we've got about 70 odd miles left to do. So I reckon we should be there in about an hour, an hour and a bit, I reckon. Let's go. We're off again, right. Yeah. That's when it pays to have these puncher outfits. You only need to have a couple of punchers and they pay for themselves straight away. So you might think sometimes, oh, are they worth it? Well, they are, yeah. Luckily, I got my uh, compressor with me, so between us, we managed to fix it all right, so. Yeah, good. That takes all to Steve, what he's got on his bike, on his tracer. It's loud. Noisy bastard! <sighs> what a lovely day! It's, a, it's been it's been a lovely ride all the way here. Okay, we've had a few problems with punches, I think, but it's been brilliant. So, yeah, we're on the way down to Whitby now. So, I'll see you in a minute.
cracking view from up here. You can see the, uh, the, I think it's a castle. Yeah, the castle, you can see, just about. Cracking view. Beautiful. It's a long way to come, but it'll be worth it. I mean, at the moment we've done, what, 150 miles? So the time we get there, it'll probably be around 154 miles, I reckon. We've had a, a stop as well, so... Yeah, but we're there now, nearly. Beautiful, beautiful area. We love it. <clears throat> well, Paul's plug in his back tyre seems to be holding okay. So we're sorted there. All it was, he, well, he wasn't, he, he must have been a nail, some description, but it has come out again, Tommy found it. So, sort of, you know, well, I said to him, so look, it did, it did go when he, when he, where it was really, if he'd gone on a, say if he'd been on the motor and it had done it, it'd have been, uh, hmm, a bit interesting to say the least. Sunny Yorkshire. And wonderful. <sighs> I wasn't far off when I said 154. 154.4 now, so. Okay, mate, you go, you pass through. You're all right. Jesus Christ. Now, the biggest problem is now, <coughs> Finding somewhere to park. We could try the harbour first. I reckon that's going to be busy. We will have to see. Arbor first. No. Try the Arbor car park down here. Yeah. Try that first. Don't go in there. You can try if you want. Like I say, the other one's down here, isn't it? Eh?
Oh, now, yeah. Yeah. Leave it in a minute. We'll get through it. It's not long enough. How long is it wrong? So just cut it in. Girl, it locked. Got it, haven't you? Yeah. There you go. That's it, mate. Well, folks, wind's got up. We're just uh, locking up the bikes. We're going to grab some chips. Been here for a few hours, had a lovely walk around, gone up to the Harby, had your fish and chips, been enjoyable. It's been a really nice day, so we'll venture on the way back home. And uh, if any crops up on the way, I'll put it up, but if not, I will see you on the next video. Until then, cheerio, thanks for tuning in. And see you soon. Ciao. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've driven near the inner eyes of driving back with the big eyes. Yeah. Hello. Pump three, please. Pump three. Three, uh, yeah, the other side, sorry, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. I'm glad you know. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> it could be 10 or 11, Paul. <laughs>